And then we ended up at Sunset and Vine. And I went in the bathroom because I traveled as a gay boy. And I went in the bathroom and dressed as a woman. And then I hit Sunset Boulevard. And oh my God, I made $1,000 within an hour and a half Damn. on Sunset Boulevard, 1983. Wow. Jesus. And there That's was like a 10 lot grand of fucking today. money. Man. There were bumper to bumper tricks back then i mean it took you two hours to get down sunset and there would be ten thousand hookers a night on sunset it was gorgeous gorgeous hookers and i was jumping in and out of those cars sucking those valley boys for two hundred dollars a pop <laughs> and Damn. um i'm sorry if i gave you any like if your ball tart in the morning because of my beard honey you need to grow up <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got red balls. <laughs> That's where Red, balls, guess, red balls. You know? <laughs> where red Bull came from. Red balls, you know. This is where Red Bull came from. Now wait a second. Hold on. As a man who's uh, familiar with that area, what part of where in Sunset was it in the eighties? Because I know fairly well the terrain Sunset in the nineties. Sunset and Vine. Sun. Oh, in Vine. Vine, okay. honey. Sunset got and Vine. It. I got worked it. from Sunset Vine up to the Rock Date. Up by La Cienega. That's a long right, stretch. You know, wow. So fellas who were, regardless of the wig, fellas who were inviting you into the car were, were fully Knew you were a man. Honest. They had no idea I was a man. Oh. Really? No. None? Nobody knew. Uh, I had one guy ask me, and I looked at him, I said, are you a faggot? <laughs> How dare you ask a lady that? <laughs> and he goes, well, I just want to make sure... You know, I said, well, no. I said, I'm not into all that. I said, if you want if you want one of those kind of people, if you want one of those she-males, I said, then you need, I'm not it. He said, oh, I'm really sorry, lady. And then he picked a credit card out of it. Uh, I said, I don't take credit cards, bitch. <laughs> and then he took it and scraped it across my face, and I didn't shave that good that night, and he could hear the sound, you know, from a credit card. On the hair, And yeah. he said, you are a guy. And I said, you fucking bitch. <laughs> And he goes, well, you know, I was going to give you 200 for a blood job, but now I'm going to give you 100 I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, this is equal pay, bitch. <laughs> where's, where's Gloria Allred or Gloria Steinem? I said, I don't think so. Uh -oh. this, was, this was in broad daylight on Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. He was a producer. And I said, I am not giving you a blood job for a hundred dollars because you know you know i'm i can give you a better blood job than any bitch and he and, and he was i i got out of the car he said i i can't fuck argue you. with that and i slammed the car and he said well i told you i'll give you 150 i said fuck you 200 dollars or fuck you and so he didn't want to give me 200 dollars to so fuck him so anyway uh, very rarely did they find out that i was a guy very rarely 99 percent of them thought i was a woman and they said, well, I want to fuck you in your pussy. I said, I'm on the rag. <laughs> and they go, well, can I feel your pussy? I said, fuck, now I have a pimp. And I said, and, and I'm going to give you a blood job, and that's all you're going to get. Did it's you have a pimp back then? No. And I had a 45 cut automatic. That was my pimp. <laughs> and, uh, Hell yeah. So anyway, I just gave these little stupid Dolly boys and their BMWs. They were so stupid. I'd give them blood job. <laughs> And they didn't know any difference. And uh, occasionally I'd get some smart trick that would, you know, figure it out. And I had a pimp pull up to me one night <clears> on <throat> Sunset in Highland. He goes, you know, bitch, I see you out here every night making money. His name was Star. And he goes, <laughs> you know, you're fucking my business up. You're making a lot of fucking money. He said, you need to fucking work for me. I said, bitch, I'm not working for you. I ain't working for no motherfucking pimp. He said, bitch, he started getting out of the car, and then I pulled my mini skirt up and showed my dick. And that motherfucker went, oh, you a man. I said, hello, bitch. And I said, I'm going to fuck you up. I said, bitch, you need to get back in your fucking car. And then I pulled my 45 coat out of my fucking Damn. purse. That pimp got the fuck back in his car. First pulled the dick on him, then pulled the colt on so him. So yeah. my reputation was... was She's a man. She's a woman with a cock and a forty-five coat automatic. So you better leave that bitch alone if you know what. That's a perfect movie poster. Yeah. That's it. Dude. <laughs> so yeah, that's what next. I Robert have. Rodriguez. And I only, only, yeah. Yeah. Quentin I only, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. only worked a, a very short a time 45. on Sunset. I only worked a short time, like ten years. Copy that. <laughs> Like ten years, <laughs> honey. Yeah. I saw, I saw, I saw those beautiful hookers become crackheads. Oh man! And totally destroy their lives. Mm. 
And I didn't do crack. I wouldn't do drugs when I was working. It was a no, 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 no. And I saw them destroy their lives. Beautiful hookers just become fucking total crackheads, lose their teeth, and then the crystal meth came, and uh. they fucking just was a mess. Sores walking down the street. And then HIV came in the 80s. Uh. Oh. And I remember the time that uh, they announced ro- that, uh, you know, he had died. Rock he Hudson. Rock Hudson had died. Yeah. That street became, like, dead. Do you remember that? Everything was dead. Oh, no. I didn't get out here till I the I couldn't 90s. find a trick anywhere. Yeah. They were terrified. Wow. So that okay. killed the prostitution on Sunset. So I slowly was still working. Slowly. I got a job as a hairdresser. And then I'd suck dick at night. I'd blow hair in the day. And then I'd blow dick at night. <laughs> I was blowing everybody in town. And uh, then the cops would go. I was walking down Sunset. And this is when I got embarrassed. I was walking down Sunset in front of the Roxy, and they spotlighted me, the cops, and they went, there she is, the longest living hooker on Sunset Boulevard. (laughs) I was horrified, (laughs) horrified. These guys were rookies, now they're sergeant. And they come up to me and go, you know you're the longest, oldest hooker on Sunset Boulevard? How the fuck did you do it? I said, I didn't do drugs. I said I would leave work and I would go to the bar and have my drinks and that was it. I wasn't hooked on hard drugs and I did it temporary. It wasn't a full-time job at that point because I was doing hair during the day. And then eventually I got arrested for public drunk and that's when I got sober. I got I went to AA and I got sober and I've been sober for 26 years. Wow. And I, I, but I, for four years of my sobriety I hooked. No shit. The yeah. first four in? The first four. I had to make some money, honey. I wasn't yeah. doing that good in the hair salon. Yeah, sure, right. And then eventually what happened? Yeah.